Good evening everyone, my name is Aniket. So in this video we are going to see the problem from Pune University book and we will try to solve this problem in this FEAST software. So we have analytical results. Now we will solve the same problem in FEAST software. So we have all the data here. So this problem is from FEA book Pune University. So in this problem here we have created four nodes. First node here, second, third and fourth node is created and on the second node 20 kN load is acting actually as well as on the fourth node 10 kN load is acting and all the dimensions are given in mm area is given as 200 mm square and here 100 mm square and E that is modulus of elasticity is given 200 GPA that means 200 into 10 raised to 3 MPA so we have results also so after solving this problem in fees software we will check the results we will compare the results so we will go to this fees software So as you can see, four nodes are created. So I will create four nodes. So I will go to geometry, key point create by XYZ. So first point I will create at 0, 0, 0. Second point I will create at 100, third at 100. And then at 150mm so first point is created at 0, 0, 0 second point I have created at 100 third point I will create at 200 so from this point to this point the distance is 200mm so I'll create third point at 200 mm distance and then fourth point that is last point I'll create at 100 plus 100 plus 150 that means 350 mm so we have four points I'll hide the grid uh, use this fit to window option so now we have points so we will create nodes on this point so I'll go to mesh nodes create snap so I'll create I'll click on these points and a node and nodes will be created on these points so as you can see here the message box displays that nodes are created I'll go to this idea delete option and I'll delete these points and I'll drag it along these points and now the points are deleted and uh, nodes will be appearing here so I'll go to this label option and I'll label this nodes so as you can see here we have nodes 1 2 3 and 4 and I'll go to geometry mesh create by node so the element type here I can select bar 2 connectivity I can give this nodes so one element is created here second here and third here so to check how many elements are created I will just uh, check on this element option so three elements are created so here we have three elements now here we have fixed boundary condition so I'll go to loads boundary condition displacement boundary condition add and I'll select this node and in boundary condition I will fix this in translation as well as in rotation as and click on apply now on the second node 20 kilonewton load is acting so 
I'll go to load boundary conditions, point load, add, and on the second node. So here, this one, two, and three is highlighting the elements. So I'll just uh, off these elements and click on the nodes. So as you can see, on the second node. Twenty kilonewton load is acting. So twenty kilonewton that will will uh, make it to newton. So twenty into ten raised to three in f x direction. So apply. So on the second node, load is applied. Now on the fourth node, ten kilonewton load is acting. So I'll make it ten kilonewton in x direction. Now we have applied boundary conditions as well as we have we have applied point load. Now we will apply material. Material given here is steel. That means modulus of elasticity is two hundred GPa. So we'll go to property material isotropic material. We have we will add it. will add this isotropic material to all and the material data here we have this material properties we have uh, library i'll click on this library and i'll select steel from this library we have modulus of elasticity 200 gp it means 2 power 5 mp i'll click on apply so the material is added now we have to give the cross section so here the area is given as 200 so if you convert calculator if you convert the area that is considered the area is 200 so we will consider this as a circle so the area will be pi by 4 d square So we will just find the diameter. So I will find the diameter as two hundred into four by pi, and the root of the answer is fifteen point ninety five mm is the diameter of the first two elements, and the third element we have hundred mm area mm square area into four divided by pi, and the root of the answer is. Eleven point twenty eight mm. So we'll go to properties, physical properties. We will add beam properties, standard sections. Add. So in this element IDs, we will select the two elements, the first and second element we have selected. In the cross section shape, we will click on this dialog box. General. In this general. We'll go to circle. Dimensions: the first diameter is fifteen point ninety-five. We'll click on apply. So in the message box, beam section is added. So the third, I'll click on this third element. So element ID is three, and it. Cross section shape is eleven point twenty eight. Click on apply. So we have a geometry. We have done meshing. We have applied loads as well as boundary conditions. We have assigned physical and material properties as well. So finally, we'll go to set the analysis type to static. Analysis option to multifrontal. And run solve. So here I'll uh, save the file with the name of can't remember the actual loading. I'll click on yes, apply. So as you can see, the analysis is completed within zero seconds. I'll go to post. And stress contour. So actual stress. If you want to see, you can see that we can see the elemental stress. If you want to see the overall stress, we'll type all here.
so now we will go to post view results in this if you want to see the displacement we can see the displacement we have reaction forces as well stress as well as strain so first of all we will see the displacement I'll click on apply so these are the nodal displacements we have in this so we'll just check the results from the book so Q1 is 0 Q2 is 0 0.075 Q3 is 0.1, Q4 is 0 0.1752. We'll check it with the software results. So on the first node, the displacement is 0. Second is as you can see, the second node, the displacement is 0 0.075. Here the result is same. On the third node, 0 0.1000. On the fourth node, the result is 0 0.1752. So all the results are matching. Now I'll go to the reaction force. The reaction force here is minus 30 kN. Minus indicates the negative direction. So on the displacement I'll click on reaction force. So this is the reaction force minus 30 kN. So if you want to uh, see the results in uh, notepad file go to post file and click on apply just see the location and I'll select the out file and I'll open this file so this is my notepad file we have displacement results here as well as reaction force and uh, beam forces here so the total number of degrees of freedom 18 and the total time taken by the software everything is here thank you